All right, today's topic is forbearance and what does that mean? First of all, I wanna share with you that we're gonna cover three different points about what forbearance is and what forbearance is not. And the key thing to understand is that forbearance is not meaning forgiven. You are still going to have to pay a mortgage payment. It's just a matter of how that payment is gonna be made. So I want you to have three different key takeaway points with this, okay? First of all is forbearance is the ability to pay on a different payment structure. So you'll have to make certain that you reach out to your lender to determine what is actually available for you. The second point I want you to do is that, or no, is that not all mortgages qualify for forbearance. It's not just an automatic um, thing that happens. So with a forbearance, usually if you're a VA, an FHA, or a USDA loan, those do qualify. However, if you're a conventional loan, what you'll want to do is verify with your lender whether or not you're a Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac loan. And the reason I say that is because those t can qualify for forbearances, but if you do not have a Fannie Mae or a Freddie Mac, you may not qualify. And I don't know about you, but I don't even know Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac or how or what my loan is. So that's another question you'll want to ask your lender, okay? The third thing is, is that it's offered for a limited time and it could be up to 12 months, but each mortgage company is going to have their own individual process and their own individual rules and guidelines that are in place. So you want to make certain and reach out to them as soon as possible. So again, first thing is a, for, a forbearance is just a different style of a payment structure. It's not forgiven. You still have to pay it. Second thing, not all of the loans will qualify. So you'll know, know that. And then the third thing is, is that it's a limited time to defer your payments. So I want to stress two other things in this video. Okay. The first thing I want to stress is start the dialogue now, all right? And the reason is, is because if you find yourself in a position to where you're going to need a potential forbearance, having the discussion and dialogue with your lender right now is going to be important to understand what they offer and how they do it. They are not going to automatically set you up and they may have different requirements before they'll even honor it to you. And if you don't set it up right away, and do it in advance and know what your rules and your rights are in advance, then you could still potentially have a late payment, all right? And if it's late and you haven't set up forbearance, it could still potentially go into foreclosure. So have a plan and start it now, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing I also want you to understand is, is that they this is sort of a process where you want to hopefully avoid it if there's any way to avoid it. And the reason is, is because that's kind of what happened when we started having our mortgage meltdowns is a lot of people started doing a forbearance with their properties and then they ended up finding themselves in a position to where they couldn't repay what they had forbear forbearance for forborn or whatever. I'm not, I don't even know how to say that word. But the, the key thing is, is that have a plan, create an action plan, start it early, start the dialogue now. We have 15 days till the next payment is due. Most people know that their house payment is due on the first of the month. So call your lender, start the dialogue, understand what the questions are that you need to ask, and then also reach out to us. We have a list of questions, we have a list of ideas, we have a list of opportunities to where we can make certain that you are educated and informed based on your individual scenario. I'm easy to reach, just call Call Krista at gmail.com. Call with a C, Krista with a K at gmail.com. And also please pass this on to family and friends. We want to make certain and get the word out and get people moving forward as soon as possible. Just share this, like this page, make certain that we get this to as many people as possible. As always, I'm here to help. Call Krista at gmail.com, 805-620-7355. Have an amazingly blessed day. Bye.